Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to you or welcome back to my channel. Today, this is going to be a part four to my sex pet peeves. I promise I do love sex. There's just many, 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 many things that turn me off. And we're gonna get into that today. So, my first pet peeve of this video. Guys, not taking a hint. One thing I can't stand, in fact, quite find rather sad and embarrassing, is when a guy doesn't take a hint. He'll be all in my DMs trying to get with me. You leave them undelivered for hours and then even give them dead responses or just very blunt responses in the hopes that they will take the hint. But let me tell you one thing in this world, one thing I've never seen a man give up on is coochie these motherfuckers they do not give up until they get what they want and that is why sa is about anyway um i'm not even joking i have men in my dms every day asking me the same boring questions hi how are you trying to get my attention and i give them the same responses every day like come on babe i don't want your pee pee take me in now, the thing is with me, I pick up energy very well. And if I message a guy even once and I pick up a vibe that they don't want to talk to me or they're just not interested in me, I'll leave them be. That's it. I'm done. I'll just leave them alone. If anything, it's more embarrassing trying and trying and trying even more when you obviously understand that they don't want to be with you or that they don't want to get with you. Men, let me give you some advice or even women because like women be loving women too. Now, men, women, non-binary, penguins whatever you identify as let me give you some advice if somebody isn't matching the energy that you give them just leave them be and invest your time in a person who does remember the saying there's someone out there for everyone now men stop forcing yourself onto women or girls it's not attractive but please don't let what I just said put you off from DMing me because I know someone out there has to be for me. Someone has to be my type. So if you look like MGK, hit me up. DM me. Feel free. Now, before we get into pet peeve number two, I just want to apologise for the lighting as it's just gone BS. None of my lightings work and I live in the UK. It's raining right now. We're in spring. Welcome to the UK. Anyways, sex pet peeve number two. Certain sex positions. Wow, this flash is making me go blind. Um... Now, I love all kinds of sex positions. Just call me the Karma Sutra because I will do it all. And I just love experimenting in all kinds of different positions. But there are just two positions I cannot stand with a passion. The first is reverse cowgirl. Uh. Now, listen, I will happily ride that pee pee like, oh yeah, oh yeah. But in reverse, no. If a guy tells me he wants to do reverse cowgirl, then I'm already packing my things and I'm leaving. That is just a gigantic no from me. It's just so uncomfortable and it feels like the penis is like going the other way and it feels like he's almost like stabbing my anal balls and I just can't do it. Plus, I just find it to be a very awkward position in general. Not to mention, it's actually a very dangerous position for the man. This is actually because if you thrust in the wrong way or if you thrust too hard on the penis in cowgirl, girl position you can actually risk fracturing or even worse breaking the penis ah! i know imagine that now breaking a guy's penis doesn't sound very sexy to me during sex now does it so i think that's why i avoid it like playing and that's what i'm saying it's literally the most dangerous position if you don't believe me please look it up please feel free no do you know what i'll give you a little challenge right now go on google and type in what is the most dangerous sex position now leave in the comments below what came up what came up for you tell me that's how confident i am on this tell me what position came up for you hmm? the other position i would say for me is like the spooning position now that i'm just simply not a fan of i don't mind doing it like unlike reverse cowgirl i will not do it but the spooning position i i will do if he wants to but i personally don't get any sexual satisfaction from it it is quite an intimate position and i do love intimate positions i'm all for intimate positions that's why my favorite is missionary i know it sounds so basic like really bitch like you're talking about all of this but your favorite position is missionary really yes and what why are you judging for this is a judge free zone. What are you doing? Get off my channel then. But yeah, I love missionary because of the intensity, like the way you guys are like thrusting into each other, but then like that major eye contact is just, it's just beautiful. Anyway. But yeah, I'm all for intimate positions, but this one is just not for me. Now I think for me, it could be because I have thicker thighs. And so that 
causes it to not slide in very well or as easily and it can just get a bit hot and sweaty down there for me in general with my thick thighs but yeah i've just never had a good experience from it never had any real pleasure from that position but yeah like i mentioned before i'm personally a missionary kind of girl or i'm in the sky now if you're a little bit confused about what that position is basically just when a guy lifts you in the air and just like you know what I mean? Like, just lifts you up. Basically, just like has sex with you in the sky, like in the air. It's just like, oh, I feel like I just feel so skinny. It's so bad. Like, I feel so tiny. Like, how are you lifting me and having sex with me right now? Like, oh my god, me, my friend is. <laughs> like, literally, just the thought of that position gives me butterflies in my stomach and vagina. Butterfly in my stomach and vagina. Now, pet peeve number three. I'm warning, this one is. Mm, nasty this is a random one but hear me out so one time i was hooking up with an ex i think we were in a position where we were both laying on our st stomachs and like he was on top of me and we were just like Whoa. anyways as we finished we rolled over to the side and like spooned and had a little cuddle as we were spooning his big ass toenails scraped the side of my leg it was so sharp that i literally like, dropped up like i dropped up oh! What was that? Is there a piranha in this freaking bed or something? What was that? And once I realised it was his toenails, I developed a whole new pet peeve. <laughs> that I literally got up and cut his toenails for him because there was no way I was letting that shit ever happen to me ever again. It was literally just like a new fan pet peeve of mine that I didn't even know I had. I don't care if you're a boy or a girl or a dinosaur your toenails for what reason do your toenails need to be that long for it should be a criminal offense if your toenail fingers <laughs> if your toenail fingers if your toenails are long you are going to jail the real question is would i ever stop seeing someone because of this no because at the end of the day long toenails are not that serious it's something that can be easily adjusted but if it ever happens to me again i'm committing crimes i'm committing crimes someone's getting whooped i'm beating a bitch up you understand someone's getting these hands pet peeve number four body hair hear me out hear me out <laughs> no before everyone goes all crazy and thinks i wouldn't get with someone because of body hair like come on i've got body hair we've all got body hair unless you have like alopecia or something then like i'm so sorry now what i'm not a huge fan of is thick long chest hair now i can do chest hair on a man don't get me wrong if anything i actually kind of love it it's very manly it's very sexy and it's nice to like rub on when you guys like finish having sex you know just like oh my god daddy that was so great but if a guy's chest hair is looking like a polar bear and it smells like if bo met the fish market it's a no from me babe simply a no from me you're not coming near this cooter now for some guys that understand this is simply genetics completely understandable i know you can't help the extra thickness but i would never not get with a guy just because of his thick body hair that's actually just quite harsh especially if they can't help it if i like a guy i like a guy simple as that but yeah long story short i don't mind a guy who has chest hair just as long as it doesn't look like my floor mat yeah as long as you're not fluffy like this me and you will get along just fine and pet peeve number five Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. guys who don't give head <laughs> so i feel like i've spoken so much about this on my channel i'm gonna lose my shit. now i'm gonna start off calmly by saying if you are a guy who refuses to give a girl head yet you expect it back so you expect a girl to give you head back congratulations you're a c <laughs> But congratulations, you are not mature enough to have sex with a real person. So why don't you take your Cheetos and your PS5 and go back to your video games with your uh. friends? Because you don't deserve a real lady. Do you see how much this subject affects me? <laughs> Honestly, the audacity to even utter the words I don't give head is crazy to me is it's just plain disrespectful giving head is such an important part to role play to warming up a lady before sex it helps warm each other up before sex imagine going in straight for sex without any form of role play whatsoever if that was the case my body count would be zero i simply 
could not do it. It's actually really exciting for me to get hair, especially if the guy actually knows what he's doing and if he's actually good at it. And the bonus is if I finish. If you watched my previous video, then you would know. In my first relationship, when we were like 16, 17 years old, in a one year relationship, I received head twice. Twice. Let's just say the relationship didn't last much longer after that. Hmm? But of course, that wasn't the only reason we broke up. He was just a cheating bastard. But we won't get into that in this video. Maybe another video. The sex was just so plain and all about him. I felt like I was just having sex with him for his needs, his sexual needs. I was literally just a hole to him. I was just a vagina to him. Other than those two times, I never came in that relationship at all. But oh well, we were young and we were just exploring sex. So I'm not too salty over the situation, but at least I know my worth now. So yes, that is also a massive pet peeve of mine. He was definitely one of those guys who was like, Oh yeah, I don't give head. As soon as he heard one guy saying, I don't give head, he stopped giving me head throughout that entire relationship. So yeah, I don't need no toxic boy like that. No, boy, exactly. Hear that? Boy. I need a man. I need a man to handle this. <laughs> But honestly, like, we're in the 21st century now, this is 2024, I feel like most guys do give head nowadays, like, literally every guy I've had a sexual encounter with recently, uh, within the last two, three years, have all given head, so I haven't really come about that issue much, but I know it's definitely still an issue that happens with many men around the world, so yeah. If you are watching this video as a man who doesn't give head, this is probably one of the reasons you don't have any bitches on your dick. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. You will die a virgin. Give head. Today. Long story short, give head and learn to do it right. Anyway, bye guys! Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you love the pet peeve series, let me know and I'll keep it going. Trust me, I can find many more pet peeves. I think it keeps us going until part 27. Subscribe or I will literally whoop your ass. Like, seriously, like, come on. I share so much of my life with you guys. The least y'all can do is just literally click one button for me. And that's free. It takes less than a second to do. Just do it. Do it or I will come to your house. I will come to your house subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye.